Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. On this channel, we do daily content talking about different emulators, ROMs, homebrew games, utilities, ports, you name it. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope you enjoy this one. Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at another application for our PS Vita and it's called Auto Plugin Number 2 and it's an updated version of the original Auto Plugin and this one is version 1.00 and I want to give a huge shout out to Retro87 Jeremy for providing the link and the update and I totally missed this one and Auto Plugin 2 was just released a few days ago so it's fairly new and here is the first one this application allows you to install plugins directly onto your Vita and that way you don't have to use your PC to download and manually install them onto your system which is great and I did mention this app in my PKGJ video but I wasn't really explaining what this application does so we're just gonna take a look at it here real quick and as you can see we have all sorts of awesome plugins for our Vita and you can install plugins for the Adrenaline app, which is uh, plugins for our PSP. And we have the CXMB plugin and the Category Lite, which is nice. So fairly the more essential plugins, uh, which is great. And we're going to take a look at how we can install this. Fairly easy to do. And we're going to review both of the apps and see what the difference are between the two. So let's begin the installation of this app. We're going to go to our Vita shell. Let's run the application. And you can either install it through the FTP client or through USB connection. You can press start and make sure your select button is selected to the desired connection. I'm going to use the USB connection here or actually I'm going to use the FTP client. That way I don't lose my stream here. Uh, so I'll go back, press start. And now it's active, so we can go onto our desktop here real quick. Just move a few windows around here. Perfect. Open up your FTP client. And I'm using FileZilla here. Let's do the quick connection. Perfect. Head on over to the first link in the description down below. And that'll take you to github.com. Here is Auto Plugin 2 version 1.00. And click on this link here, the auto plugin 2.vpk. There we go. Next, we can copy the VPK onto our USB drive. And you can throw it into your VPK folder if you have it. And I'm going to cancel this just because I already have it installed. And now we can go back onto our Vita and install it. Let's exit out of here. Go to our UXO folder and find that VPK file and here it is auto plugin 2.vpk press X do you want to install the package say yes and I'm gonna reinstall this one here real quick there we go it's finally complete now you can go back home and open up the app Let's start it up And it looks like we have the same options here. Plugins for Vita, plugins for PSP, extras, settings, and exit. So it looks like it's running. Let's go back to the first one and just compare and see what we got going on. So here's our options. We have plugins for Vita, plugins for PSP, extras, and exit. Plugins for Vita. Install, uninstall, configure plugin, and check for plugin updates. Let's install plugins. And it says list of plugins ready to install. Zero out of 84. And it looks like I can't really change the uh, my default folder to install my plugins like the UXO and the URO. Before you were able to press the L and R buttons to change the to change the location. 
and I do have several of these plugins already installed and that's one thing I don't like about this app is that it just doesn't really show me what I have already installed and installing custom path URO tie which makes sense because for my Vita all of my plugins are on the URO folder so let's select one here o'clock Vita has been installed so it says a simple overclock plugin for Taihin and as soon as you press X it installs it right away and I don't like that I'd rather see a little menu saying or a window saying hey you're gonna install this and would you like to install it or show more information about it or something right and a screenshot too uh, just because we would like to see if it's even worth messing around with right um, so let's go back and take a look at the PSP plugins and not a whole lot of options here we have CXMB camera patch laying swapper category light so the two essential would be CXMB and the category light CXMB just allows you to uh, use custom themes and the category light just allows you to organize all your emulators your homebrew and games and things like that which is nice and you can select a different path on the top by pressing the L1 and R1 or the trigger buttons there we go now let's exit out of here and it is gonna restart because I did install one plugin so we're just gonna have to go through that here real quick let's take a look at auto plugin 2 and the difference so here we have a new wallpaper which is nice I love the blue and the black the same intro wallpaper or startup wallpaper and now we have another option which is settings download available languages enable auto update and change language let's go back let's go to extras options for config download and install battery fixer okay so let's go to the plugins for our Vita install plugins so I already noticed the larger font which is great and just the different colors here the white blue and the green lettering on the bottom and let's see okay here we go there's our first one that green dot I'm guessing is telling me that is already installed but at the top we have 0 out of 86 so I don't know why it's at zero. Here's another one. That's the one I just installed. If you press triangle, you will see the README online. There we go. This plugin serves as a substitute for the patch folder when an existing update is present. Install instructions. That is great. Let's check out the PSP plugins and looks like the same old plugins I will install category light and when you press X you will have this other window and let's see server FTP bad argue, argument number one two lines press X to restart the script interesting creating config backup so I just press X on CXMB and it installed category light has been installed that was quick so that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it any questions please comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Take care guys and I will see you on the next one.